Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping in. I'm Rena, and I'm excited to show you today's boxes and deals. Um, if you haven't seen already, I do have a giveaway going on, so be sure to go check out that video. Um, I will be doing the drawing, the um, comment picker for the winner tomorrow night, Sunday, September 1st at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. So that would be 8.59 p.m. my time in California. And I will be doing that. Um, it's a huge giveaway if you haven't already seen it, so be sure to go check that out and I will leave the link to that video in the description below. Today I'm going to do something a little different and I'm going to do a DIY video. I have a couple recipes that I enjoy using, so I wanted to share them with you. The first one is a household cleaner slash pesticide slash antibacterial spray. And I love essential oils, I love natural and clean ingredients, and um, I love to be able to make my own things to save money as well. So I do some shopping on Grove.co, which is Grove Collaborative. Um, they do have a membership and it is $19.99 per year. And all year long, you get unlimited free shipping no matter how small or large your order is. Um, now, a key note is you need to go in. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below for your, if you haven't already subscribed to Grove, you can get a free four or five piece kit. It kind of changes, um, I think seasonally. They do different things and usually it includes Mrs. Meyers cleaners, hand soap, dish soap and a couple other things usually it's about 40 about a 40 dollar value and um you get all that free with your first order so i will be sure to leave a link for that as well for a referral for you and um again it's 19.99 per year to sub subscribe but you want to go in monthly and um change your subscription so to speak so they don't send them to you each month you get to order how little or often as you wish wish and um so for instance last month i just got some parchment paper and some cotton rounds for my face and a couple other items and that was it and you just want to go in and I had to change what I was subscribed to order. Otherwise, if you don't pay attention to that, they'll just send it to you and bill you for it. But they do have a 100% happiness guaranteed for their customers. So if by accident you didn't um, order those and they come, they will refund you. You can send them back. Um, so it is an excellent company. They do price matching. And so, for instance, if you go onto Target and they have a sale or Amazon and you can email them, you put those items that you are wanting in your cart on Grove.co and email them and tell them this is the link for the Target sale or Amazon sale. Would you match prices? And they will do that for you. So um, excellent company, excellent co collaborative. They do companies like Mrs. Myers and some others that are clean products and they do household cleaning. They do personal care, bath and body. Um, I think they're starting to get into a little bit of makeup. Um, not much yet. Maybe we'll see some more of that coming up soon, but they, I love their products. Um, all right. So now in the DIY and the reason I'm giving Grove a big um, shout out is because I love shopping through them. I get all my household ingredients from them and I love the products that you can make your own items out of. So this is a glass jar. It says Grove on it and a glass spray bottle. Um, I love their color right now. They have like a purple fall purple color that you can get, um, just a sleeve of by, I think by themselves, or you can get the bottle and sleeve in that color um my kitchen is all aqua <laughs> so this is perfect for me and i made my own household spray so i'm going to show you i'm not going to do the whole mixing thing right here in front of you but i'm going to show you the ingredients and i'm going to timestamp um each of the recipes in the description below so if you're interested in a certain one you can skip ahead um so the first one i'm going to do is the pesticide 
household cleaner um, antibacterial spray. The next one I'm going to do will be a room and slash linen spray. And then the last one I'm going to do will be a DIY coffee scrub. All right, so first one is um, you want to fill about a third full. I do it to about here with white vinegar. And I just go and get this big old thing. <laughs> As you can see, I use it um, a lot. And so just white vinegar. And then you put in, these are the three oils that I use in mine. And I will tell you why. And I get um, Now Brand. Grove does have some essential oils, just not a whole huge selection as um, Now, Now Foods. That's the brand. And you can go and I shop on iHerb.com for the Now brand essential oils. And I stock up on those. It's the best um, price for a good quality essential oil that I know is prepared right, is 100% um, pure, and is a good quality essential oil. Um, so I do... Let's see, I wrote it down. 30 drops of peppermint oil and 30 drops of tea tree oil. Um, these can, these two and the lavender is the third one. I got spike lavender just because it's inexpensive. It is a little different than the regular lavender, but not much. And especially in the way of cleaning and stuff, it still has the beneficial um, properties. So these three are, if you don't have any essential oils and you want to get started, I recommend these three would be your top three to get because they are great for so many things, for colds and flu and sickness, for germs, for insects, for um, aches and pains, for, um, I think I already said, I'm antibacterial. Anyway, these three, so I do 30 drops of each, including the lavender. Um, if you wanted to, you can also add either eucalyptus oil, lemon oil, and or thyme essential oils as well. Those are good cleaning agents as well and good freshening and cleaning the air. So I put 30 drops of each of those, the lavender, tea tree, and peppermint, and then I fill the rest of the way with distilled water and shake it up. And as you can see, um... It does, the oils do kind of rise to the top. You just shake it before you spray it. But what the vinegar does, it, it it breaks it down so that the oils do mix with the water a little better so that it's still mixed in well. And um, I use that for countertops, for bathroom cleaner, for um, the table. You could use it for high chairs. You can use it um, to spray the... Um, I spray my drains around in each of the sinks and bathtubs because sometimes those, I don't know, the gnats um, and any other insects might crawl up through the drain and this helps to keep them away, keep them out. Peppermint, tea tree, and lavender are all pesticides and um, you could even, <laughs> I don't know about mosquitoes, but I would assume that you could even wear a little bit of it like on your wrists or neck if you're going out and um, I believe it will for sure keep ticks away, possibly mosquitoes. Um, I know citronella is a good one for mosquitoes. Anyway, I'm kind of rambling on about that, but those three oils are very um, essential. It will clean. You can leave it you can spray down the countertops, leave it for a little bit, and then wipe up the excess. You don't have to rinse it out. Um, you just need to be careful about pets and small children. If I don't spray it um, where my cat is around a lot. So um, like the kitchen, she doesn't climb up on the counters or anything like that. And I don't do the, um, what do you call it, the air, the... <laughs> I want to call it distiller, the diffuser, um, the air diffuser. I don't do that with the essential oils because I have a cat um, and that actually dissipates the essential oils into the air 
constantly so they can breathe that a little easier whereas just spraying the countertops or sinks it'll kind of evaporate and um it's not dangerous she, like I said she doesn't climb up there or lick it or anything like that um and it's not you know getting on her fur or anything like that so let's see next I have the room spray now you can do I do a brown glass bottle which I also got on Grove um the difference being the brown glass will keep any UV rays and protect it from protect the essential oils from light and UV rays um and since I keep this out maybe on the um in the bathroom where there's more light coming in or in my bedroom things like that um if it's anywhere near a window the um and i don't use this quite as quickly as i use this i use this all the time and i keep it in the corner on my kitchen sink and it's not near any windows or anything so i'm not worried about the oils breaking down on this one if it was sitting for a long time and you're not going through it fast enough then the uv rays and light can kind of break down those essential oils so the brown glass does protect it from that um and i believe these ones are 7.95 on grove they do also have sets where you can get the um glass bottle as well as an oil and they give you kind of a little bit of a discount with the combination there. This one is lemongrass and verbena. Yes. Um, and you can just mix the, um, the distilled water along with this. And I put in witch hazel as well. Did I bring it away? Yeah. So I use this brand. And this one already has some lavender in it. Or you can get the plain one. Um, and I put in, again, about a third full of the witch hazel and then whatever essential oils you want to use and then the rest of the way with distilled water. And you can spray that on. I use it for my bedding, the couch, the curtains, the, the carpets, um, a room spray for in the bathroom. Um, now, because of the water, it is a little bit more misty, a little bit more damp. Than maybe some of the aerosol types but it works very well it also it's beneficial because it actually cleans the air and it has um, antibacterial properties in it especially depending on um, which oils you use and my favorite this one I got my own labels I believe did I get those off of Amazon I can't remember um, this one I labeled as soothing sleep and I included a oil blend that I have um, I'll reach for that in a minute because I have a few that I'll show you but um, I use I enjoy these are probably my two favorites is lavender and orange and it's a very pleasant scent you again you can spray it on your bedding and it's calming and soothing uplifting as well because the orange is uplifting um, and I wrote down a couple different recipes that you can use. Um, so any orange or citrus oils or like floral scents like rose or geranium can be uplifting and um, sleep. You can use chamomile, sandalwood, lang lang and lavender. Um, for all of them, I include lavender just because it's such a beneficial oil and so it has so many benefits. I can't even, I would take a whole video on <laughs> what benefits it, it has. Um, if you want, like I said, a citrus fresh, you can combine lemon, orange, grapefruit, and um, even add in some basil and that's cleansing as well as um, uplifting. And you could even use that in included with this um, tea tree peppermint blend for a um, antibacterial as well. For if um, you want a sickness spray, you can like, spray around the house and it kind of gets rid of the sick germs as well as makes you feel better, helps with respiratory. You can include eucalyptus, peppermint, and tea tree. 
Um, and then I wrote down if you want some seasonal scents. Um, for fall, you can use clove oil, ginger oil, vanilla, orange, and cinnamon. You can adjust it how you would like. For winter, you can use cinnamon, cedarwood, spruce, and fir needle. Um, and all these oils, they do more than just smell good. They have all their own different benefits as well. For spring, you can use geranium and rose, add in a little bit of orange. Um, and then for summer, you can use lemon verbena, basil, and neroli. Those are just a few ideas. Um, so again, that is with witch hazel, whatever oils you would like. I add about, depending on the um, oil, I add about 30 drops of each. If it's a heavier scent like ginger and clove, you could add about 10 drops. And then the rest of the way with distilled water. And um, let's see, did I miss anything on... Oh, and by the way, for this one, the cleaning one, especially with the vinegar and the oils, the antibacterial oils, you can use it to fight odors, such as in your shoes or around in and around trash cans, etc. Um, next, I'm going to do the coffee scrub. Um... And then last, I'll go ahead and go over a few of the benefits that I wrote down. Just um, like I said, it could take a whole video on just um, giving you all the benefits of each of these oils. But I'll go over a few that I had written down. So next we have the coffee scrub. One second, let me clear off a little bit of space so I can show you those items. All right, so my coffee scrub is a little bit on the oily side. You can use a lot less oil if you don't like that feeling, but um, I live in California and have dry skin, um, but I don't use this on my face because I do have oily skin on my face and this, um, because of the amount of oil that's in it, it could be a little bit um, clogging, so comedogenic, so I, but I use it on my body and it's so moisturizing and smoothing and has a lot of benefits as well. So that's what it looks like. And I just used, I recycled a jar. I didn't even bother taking the peel off, peeling off. You can and make it all pretty and cute and labeled and everything. I didn't. And then I will scoop some so you can see the texture. So that's the texture. And at the very end, I'll go ahead and smooth some on my hands. I just don't want to while I'm trying to finish up the video but that's what it looks like and it smells so good so this one I did a fall scented one and I can I can still smell it on my skin it smells wonderful all right so first of all I take what I do with my one second oh my recipe. <laughs> so first of all, I take a cup of coffee grounds. So just any coffee, as long as it's caffeinated so that it gives you the energizing, um, benefits and, um, and it's good for your skin. It's good for firming and toning, um, and other things. So you want a cup, one cup of caffeinated coffee ground and then I do a half a cup each um, some people just do one or the other of white sugar and brown or brown sugar I did a half a cup of each and of white granulated sugar not the powdered sugar so just that one <laughs> one cup or excuse me half a cup of that and I do one half cup of brown sugar. I do the light brown sugar. And um, as you can see, it's toward the end there. So I do a half a cup of that and I lightly pack it. I don't squish it down all the way, but I lightly pack the brown sugar. And then um, I added a 
teaspoon of ground cinnamon and then I mixed up all the dried ingredients and then in a separate bowl I combined a like I said I did a little bit too much of the oil but I would start with maybe depending on how oily or dry you want it I would start with about a quarter cup of um, coconut oil and I use this one from Costco as you can tell I use it a lot and mine even though I keep it in a dark cool cabinet because it is California and it is in the summer and we don't have our AC super cold um, it's very liquefied and I get the unrefined um, I read something about if you use the refined it's not as good for your skin and I don't remember I'd have to look it up again but anyway I get that one coconut oil has antibacterial properties as well as healing and cleansing properties um, besides the moisturizing and then I add about three tablespoons of olive oil extra virgin olive oil and that's that this one I just refill over and over and I got a big one from Costco <laughs> and I just refill that bottle and then I do where did my other oil go I do about three tablespoons of jojoba oil again this one's from now and I got that from iHerb so I use jojoba oil is wonderful for the skin so is olive oil and those are the three oils that I use um, other options that are great for the skin would be sweet almond oil if you don't have any nut allergies um, avocado oil and I'll go over a few other options in a few minutes so I mix up all my oils and then um, I put in my essential oils into that oil mixture so for this one for this fall scented one um like i said i already did the cinnamon with the dry ingredients and then i took about 15 to 20 drops it depends on clove is very strong and so is ginger so um depending on how strongly scented you want it um i did about I did, I did about 15 to 20. You might want to start with about 10 um, drops of clove oil, 10 drops of ginger. This one is also very strong, very potent. Um, once you have it on your skin, it's not quite as strong, but you're all, also you might want a test patch if you haven't used them on your skin before. Um, patch test, test patch, skin test <laughs> these oils, especially clove. Um, these Okay, I'll go over the benefits after I'm done with the recipe. All right, so, um, and then I did about 20 drops of orange oil. And then I have these oils that I got from Eternal Essence, and I got these off of Amazon in a six or 12 pack, I can't remember, is more than six. It might have been 10 or 12 pack um, it's the best way to get them because then you don't pay I think you don't pay shipping it might have been 12 pack at 12 or um, 16 even I don't remember I'd have to look um, I don't have that box with me but I got them off of Amazon and I did not pay for shipping this way and these smell so good and I read up on them um, they are from what I read they're pure fragrance oils so they would be hopefully I haven't tested it with anybody that I know that has fragrance allergies but they're supposed to be hypoallergenic um, and good for your skin and this company I follow on Instagram and they always have like new recipe ideas that you can use so I took the Tahitian vanilla about 30 drops of that and coconut cream also about 30 drops because I wanted it to smell fall and warm and creamy 
And then this one is hard to describe. This one is Bay Rum. It doesn't smell like rum. It has more of a warm musk to it. And I thought it would be a nice addition to the fall scent that I was trying to create. And sure enough, so I have the ginger, clove, vanilla, coconut, rum, and orange. Is that it that I put in that one? Yes, I believe so. You can even add in a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg if you want. If you want a little extra spice to it. So it smells, at first I wasn't sure I was going to like it because in the jar it smells different. <laughs> it wasn't as like a fall spice candle smell that I was hoping for. But when I put it on, it smelled so good. And it was super moisturizing. It does kind of leave a oily um, residue. But like I said, I don't mind. It just feels like I put, I didn't have to put lotion on after my shower. Um, I will say that it is a bit messy. <laughs> it looks like I kind of took a battle axe to the Starbucks siren. I don't know. <laughs> it was coffee everywhere, but I just rinsed it out of my shower. It wasn't hard to clean out. Um, but any coffee scrubs that I've used, I've used coffee scrub from the coffee scrub brand and any of them are um, messy, but I decided to save my money and make my own. So that's how I made it. And like I said, this one is, some of them are more, some coffee scrubs are more just dry and powder. Like you're just literally putting on coffee grounds. This one, I liked that it's a little bit more moisturizing. Probably next time I won't put quite as much of the oil in it. Um, I put more than what I gave you in this recipe. So I will say that. So I would start out with what uh, the amounts that I said in here. Um, and then you can always add more. You can't really take it away, obviously. So try that. Um, start out lightly and then just keep adding until you like the texture that you've come up with. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit and put it on my hand and show you. And while I'm doing that, I'll read up a little bit on some of the stuff that I wrote down as far as essential oils and their benefits. All right, so that's what it looks like when I just scoop it onto my hand. And that's what it looks like. You can see the oils in there. And once you put it on, it just smells so good. All right, so I wrote down, and oh, real quick, um, when you're rubbing, you just want to just, just like you're doing a soap, just rub it in, blend it in. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to scrub because already it is very exfoliating and um, it will definitely um, take up the dry, dead skin cells. Um, I use this before putting any tanning oil or anything on um, or even a lotion. I, I didn't have to put lotion because of the amount of oil that's in this, but um, if you were to, that lotion will absorb even better um, because of the exfoliating, but you don't want to scratch your skin. And even if you can't see it, it will um, scratch it up if you don't um, scrub, rub gently. So that's what that looks like, all rubbed in. And when I'm done here, I'll go rinse it off and have all scented hands. <laughs> all right, so that was my recipe for the fall scent. Another recipe I have is mocha. Um, cocoa powder is also antioxidant rich and nutrient, nu nutrient rich. Um, so you can put some pure cocoa powder, 100% um, cocoa powder. I would put about a quarter cup in there and it'll smell like you're putting on mocha. <laughs> um, you can even add some vanilla or even if you get pure vanilla extract, you can use that instead of what I have here, the vanilla fragrance. They even have vanilla essential oil, but I think that's a, le a little more on the expensive side. Um, and then you can even include 
instead of some of the other oils, you can put some cocoa butter, melted cocoa butter in there. Um, French vanilla, you could do vanilla extract. Um, and again, the cocoa butter, that would kind of give add to the vanilla scent if you want that. Um, peppermint mocha, you can do the cocoa powder as well as 30 drops of peppermint essential oil and some vanilla extract. Um, if you just want a lavender coffee scrub, just add 30 drops of lavender or you could do a lavender orange or a lavender vanilla um, with orange essential oil or vanilla extract or essential oil. If you want one for the winter that helps your respiratory and um, any sickness and that's also calming and relaxing um, it's soothing to the muscles you can do 20 to 30 drops of lavender 30 drops of peppermint and 20 to 30 drops of eucalyptus as well as uh, about 15 to 20 drops of tea tree and then um, Another warming, uh, that one would be more of a cooling sen sen sensation, a warming sensation for achy muscles, um, uh, would be, uh, excuse me, 20 drops of clove oil, 20 drops of ginger, and um, nutmeg essential oil, or a teaspoon of nutmeg, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, those that those actually are beneficial for muscles and joints and um, some of the blends I have so I'm gonna go over now into some of the essential oils and blends that I have um, so first of all coffee itself is anti-inflammatory firming and toning and, and energizing and same with um, cocoa and cocoa is also antioxidant. Coconut oil is antibacterial, moisturizing, and healing. Olive oil has an antioxidant, is moisturizing, and nutrient-rich. Has a lot of vitamins. Jojoba oil is moisturizing. It's even good for acne, um, but definitely, like I said, you want to limit use on your face if you are adding a lot of these oils. Um, sweet almond oil has vitamin B's, vitamin E. Avocado oil is also nourishing and full of vitamins. Um, and then the essential oils, clove is anti-aging, analgesic, which is um, anti-pain, um, helps with the respiratory, antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. Um, it's good for your skin. It even has natural insecticides, so those mosquitoes and bugs if you're um, outdoors are going to stay away and it's also anti-inflammatory cinnamon is antibacterial analgesic respiratory and uplifting for your mood um, so it helps with depression it helps with anxiety um, or anything similar to that cocoa I think I already said Oh, it's also good for your skin health. Lavender is everything. Anti-everything, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, anti-fungal, antiviral. It heals up acne or any skin um, issues, psoriasis, rosacea. Um, it's healing. It's mood lifting. It's relaxing. It's just the power oil. Um, ginger is analgesic, anti-inflammatory, good for your pain, muscle pain or stiffness, um, circulatory health, sickness and mood. Um, it even takes down fever. So if anybody has a fever, just put some ginger oil on their feet or right here or on their wrists and that will help bring down the fever. Orange oil is good for acne, aging skin. It's an anti-inflammatory good for sickness it's good for cleansing cleansing the air as well as well as stress and just uplifting all right and then I was going to show you a couple of the blends that I enjoy getting from iHerb from the now brand one second here This 
one is called mental Fo focus. So sometimes I'll even just add several drops, like 20 to 30, at least 30 drops actually. If I'm gonna do one of these blends in the spray bottle with the for the room spray one, I'll just do the witch hazel, the water, and 30 or more drops of one of these blends because they're already blended. Um, so this one, Mental Focus, has lemon oil, peppermint oil, wintergreen oil, basil, rosemary, and grapefruit. And um, it's balancing, centering, and focusing. The Joyful Blend, this is called Clean Up Buttercup. Um, by the way, Grove has some of these same blends. They're just named a little bit differently, but they have some of these as well. Um, this one has bergamot oil, orange oil, lime oil, grapefruit oil, and lemon oil. It's uplifting, refreshing, and energizing. This one is called Naturally Lovable. And it has lemon, orange, ylang ylang, sandalwood, and jasmine. And it's a sweet floral citrus, romantic, comforting, and calming. That's a great one even for the um, diffuser. But like I said, I don't do the diffuser. But what I do is I make, I'll do another recipe in another video, but I make my own wax melt warmers. Um, and that's not just fusing the oils into the air, but you can, it's a nice scent, um, room fragrance. <laughs> And then Purify. This one is actually Groves. This is the same as Now's, um, what is it called? Cleansing, I think. Um, and this has peppermint oil, eucalyptus oil, hyssop, and rosemary. And soothing and cleansing. And then this one is our favorite. <laughs> I love using this one in the room spray. And this one is called Peace and Harmony. It's peppermint, patchouli, orange, lavender, and basil. Um, it's a minty floral herb. It's centering, calming, and balancing. And this one, it just, it smells so good. It's that peppermint citrus mix and it's just so soothing and yummy all right so there's a little bit about um some of the um homemade items i like to use and the essential oils and their benefits like i said i'll be sure to include um time stamps so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video but um if you ever wanted to come back through um, just check out those timestamps for any particular part that you wanted to see again. Um, and don't forget to check out that giveaway and spread the word. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.